Hello everyone, I'm Dragons After Dark, and today we're taking a look at the Spirit of Competition. We'll be going over its moves and stats to see how it stands up against similar pets today, but first, let's go over its sources, old and new. From Warcraft Pets about the original source of this pet, Blizzard introduced an event called the Spirit of Competition to commemorate the 2008 Olympic Games. Throughout the event, this pet was randomly mailed to players who were victorious after any PvP battleground. There was a 1 in 8 chance it would be mailed to a player for each battleground won. However, Blizzard has been bringing back old pet rewards as we saw most recently with the Silver Pig, and as of right now, this pet is available on the 2023 August Trading Post for 650 Traders Tenders. The flavor text of this pet reads, These stunning creatures awarded to heroes for victory in battle represent bravery and strength. Now let's get into stats and moves. Like with the Silver Pig, I'm not expecting much since it's an older pet, but we're going to take a look all the same. I'm not sure what the percentage of ownership was before this morning when it became available, but I'm not surprised that it has only shown up in one strategy. It only has one direct substitute with the essence of competition, but there are a few other pets that come close with similar abilities. An example of this would be the Proto Drake Whelp. It has a 1 to 1 substitute with Breath, Flamethrower, and Ancient Blessing. Proto Strike is a Dragonkin version of Liftoff, and Roar is a Beast version of Competitive Spirit. The only one that doesn't quite hit the mark is Bite instead of Tail Sweep, but both do have static damage. I only point things like this out to show that, even if a rare pet comes up in a strategy, you can likely find something similar to substitute it with. The Spirit of Competition stats will look like this at level 25. Its health is 1627, power 289, and speed 244. It's got a nice bit of health, its power at this point in our roster is pretty average, and its speed is super low. Given that this pet has Tail Sweep, which does bonus damage when your pet is slower, Dragonkin are great against flyers because they take weak damage from flying abilities, and the flyers will usually be faster for a portion of the battle, the low speed isn't a huge loss. That said, I will always recommend Tail Sweep, which does static damage, over an ability like Breath, because Breath does variable damage. Consistency will always fare better overall than a chance roll for higher damage. The other abilities will depend on what you're fighting. Using a flying pet as an example again, if you know they'll be using lift off at the same points in the battle and you're taking weak damage from the ability, you can likely get away with slotting competitive spirit to boost your damage over ancient blessing for a heal. Same with slot 3. If the enemy has an investment effect like whirlpool, you want to slot lift off to avoid the damage, or you can choose flamethrower to get that little bit of extra damage each round to maybe trigger your dragonkin buff sooner. Overall, there's not anything the Spirit of Competition does that other Dragonkin can't do. It's not offering anything that can't be replicated on another pet that's easier to get. The Proto Drake Whelp is one example, but you can also replace the SoC with the Wild Jade Hatchling, Wild Golden Hatchling, Dragon Kite, and a few others. So if you're looking at this pet from a battle perspective, you're fine to pass it up and save your tenders for something else. If you're looking at this from a collector's perspective, well, of course you're going to get it. I also have to say that, the angular nature of some of its features aside, this model holds up really well for how old it is. Much better than some others I could name. I was pleasantly surprised when I pulled it up to record the video and I didn't cringe away from the model. I'd maybe like to see it smoothed out, more like the Cloud Serpent Hatchlings in Mop, but even if they don't, I think it still looks decent. Just like the Silver Pig, it doesn't have a whole lot of animations given how old it is, but if they could add some, it'd be nice if they added the spinning and shooting skyward one the Cloud Serpent Hatchlings have. However, we all know that adding new pet things to old parts of the game is only done in Classic, which is exactly what those players wanted, right? Snarkiness aside, I'm glad I was finally able to collect this pet, and in a way that didn't involve PvP. Will you be grabbing the Spirit of Competition, or were you one of the lucky ones back in 2008 to have one pop up in your mail? Let me know in the comments below. 
Until next time, I wish you all the best of luck. Thank you for stopping by and happy battling.